in this video, we are going to have a look at essay writing in Cambridge C2 proficiency. We are going to have a look at a typical task as well as how to organize your text and the different parts of a good essay so you know exactly what to do. Hi and welcome to Teacher Phil, where I help people like you pass their Cambridge exams. Essays, 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 essays. Students hate them, but unfortunately they have to study them because essays are the only mandatory writing task in C2 proficiency. Even though essays can be a little bit dry and formal, in C2 proficiency, the tasks also give you a bit more freedom and room to play around than let's say in B2 first or C1 advanced, as the tasks are less restrictive and more open to your interpretation. The really good thing is that you can basically follow the same routine every time to write your 240 to 280 words and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it step by step. First of all, let's have a look at a typical task and let's check what you have to be careful with when analyzing it. In every essay task, you have to read two short texts with about 100 words each, just like the ones here. Your challenge is to summarize and evaluate the key points of those texts and compare and contrast them. You also need to expand on these two texts and include some of your own ideas, as well as give your opinion on the topic at the end of the essay. In this example, both texts talk about social norms, the problem of individualism versus the collective, as well as intergenerational problems in this context. Feel free to pause the video for a moment to read through the two texts before we continue. The register should be formal, as essays are part of academic writing and are usually written for a teacher. Formal English means that you shouldn't use any contractions like I'm or don't, as well as informal phrasal verbs or colloquial expressions that we would typically place in the realm of spoken English. Now let's move on to the next step and see how we can take all this information and organize it. Considering the fact that we have to work with two texts, we have to write 240 to 280 words, and other conventions of essay writing, for example, that we have to include an introduction at the beginning and a conclusion at the end. The following paragraph structure has shown to be very useful for my students. This structure is definitely not the only one that you can use to write an essay, but I have found over the course of my career as a teacher that this one is very easy to apply and really works 99% of the time. There is no need to overthink this. Just use the organizational pattern that works best for each individual task and go from there. I am a huge fan of making plans and I hope that after this video you will be one as well. Underappreciated by many, a plan only takes a few minutes to put together, but in turn, it can save you a lot of time once you start writing and it can help you stay on track. Instead of having to worry what to say next, you can focus on how to say it and the right vocabulary and grammatical structures to express your ideas. Because your plan already gives you the outline of what you are going to say in each paragraph. To devise a plan, simply take the paragraph structure from earlier and fill it with life, meaning to write down some notes for each paragraph with your ideas and what you want to talk about. For our example task from before, a plan could look something like this. It took me about three minutes to come up with this plan. The capitalized parts in the topic paragraphs are my own thoughts which I'm planning to add or weave into the ideas expressed in the two short texts. It is important to do this because the task asks you to include your own ideas and views. Now that we have a structure, ideas for the content and the knowledge that an essay needs to be formal, we can get into the nitty gritty and go to work.
As we said in the previous section, a good essay can be broken up into an introduction, a couple of topic paragraphs, each of which deals with one of the input texts, as well as a conclusion at the end. Now let me go through each individual part so you can see how we can use these building blocks to create a nice little essay. The intro to an essay in C2 proficiency is slightly different from B2 first or C1 advanced because you have a lot more freedom and most candidates keep it on the shorter side. Whichever way you decide to write your introduction, the one thing that you can't miss is the overarching theme of the input texts. Unlike in B2 first or C1 advanced, you get very little context in the task. So you have to decide what overarching topic you want to talk about and tackle in your essay. Whichever that is for you, make sure that it is reflected in your introduction and then you continue from there. An introduction for our example task could look something like this one. I paraphrase the essence of the two texts, which sets the stage for my topic paragraphs. Make sure you use your own words instead of parroting what the task says. Also note that from the beginning, I try to connect my ideas well by using a variety of cohesive devices, like even though, for instance, or while. The topic paragraphs convey the main ideas of your essay, so they should be treated as the most important parts. They should be the longest paragraphs and include all the ideas that you want to talk about in your essay. Don't make the mistake and introduce new things in the introduction or in the conclusion that you don't talk about in your topic paragraphs. The first step to a successful topic paragraph is always a good topic sentence. A good topic sentence makes it very clear for the reader what the following section is going to talk about. From there, you elaborate on the topic and that's it. Again, there's no dark magic involved, just a repeatable step-by-step -step process. Going back to our example, here are two topic paragraphs I wrote. I immediately connect the first topic paragraph to the introduction and show that I'm going to talk about the first text. It is very clear for the reader what to expect here my views on the first text. Mission topic sentence accomplished. In these main paragraphs, it is important to include some further ideas instead of just talking about the examples from the texts. In the first topic paragraph, I only acknowledge the text in the topic sentence and then expand on the topic. All of this is in my plan, so I knew that I was going to do it before I started writing. The same process is repeated in the second paragraph. I clearly state the topic and briefly paraphrase the writer's opinion before contrasting it with my own ideas. Note that I avoided using personal pronouns like I or we. Essays are formal and rather impersonal pieces of writing, so I tried to keep the text as impersonal as possible. That doesn't mean that you are prohibited from using this kind of language, but in my example I managed without it. It should go without saying that, at this level, you want to include a variety of vocabulary and grammatical structures appropriate for the topic given. The conclusion brings everything together, just like a dessert at the end of an already delicious meal. It summarizes your arguments and reflects your opinion to finish the essay. Of course, it should all be based on the things that you've already discussed and, as I said earlier, not introduce any new ideas. Nice and short. This conclusion rounds off my essay by restating the key ideas and giving my final thoughts. That's all you have to do and you're done. Congratulations! And there you have it. Essays in C2 proficiency are really not that difficult if you know what you are doing. With the right structure, a good plan and appropriate language, you basically can't go wrong. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it will help you write great essays in the future. As you might already know, I can also be your teacher. I offer writing feedback as well as online classes 
and you can find the full article to this video on my website. All the links are in the description box below and I see you in the next video.